Hey guys, welcome back to your fifth class of foundation that is fundamental accounting paper 2. I heartily welcome you to again in the class. Today we are going to discuss your concepts of accounting. If you go and think deeply in class 2, I don't think anyone can give more priority of this concept and convention topics because it's not an important topic for the exam point of view neither you anyone can explain you the use of these concepts but trust me as if for professional students till your end of the career or your professional life or it's your corporate life you will you may have to proper knowledge of this concept and conventions because in every field and in every stages you have to face this problem and you have to explain as a base on this concept conventions okay so let me discuss first where the concept and convention was started like if you go anywhere in any country there are some rules regulation behind everything same thing for us there are some rules and regulation which you can say concept which you can say convention which you can say principles was made for the preparation of accounts in uniformity okay so the gap which you call general accepted accounting principle is invented and given us 13 concept conventions for the preparation of accounts and day to day use of accounting. So, whatever we are doing, whatever we are making treatment, and whatever I am going to explain you now, in future, anytime, all are as a based on these concepts and conventions. Okay. So, you may ask, sir, if this concept and convention is not there, then what's, what will be a big deal? Yes, that's a good question. See, if the rules is not in made, then how we will make the changes? No, everything should be some rules and regulation so that everyone can follow informally or else everyone has their own idea, own knowledge, they can prepare in their own way. So, we as an accountant don't have any control for the uh, how how many accounts coming for type of the treatment being no one can know anything because everyone have different different assumptions for that limitation only they found some rules regulation which is commonly used by each and every person of the accounting point of view okay for this reason only this concept convention was more required that's the normal sense. If you go for a little bit, so whatever I explained in your previous class terminologies, what is assets, what is liability, then why this is coming, what the treatment, everything you can get answered as a based on these concepts. Why I said capital, why I said drawing, each and every why is answer you can get this concept convention based. Okay. So, few days back, some of the viewers asked some questions regarding the cost of load like accounting terminologies. So, why we compare ex expenses with revenue? How come it's revenue more than the expenses? Then we got the profit. I explained, but I did not, though I did not teach you the concepts, so I explained in general sense all the explanation I given. But from today, once I started to explain each and every concept and conventions, then as a professional student, you should have the proper reason of defining these things. And you, if you have still any doubt of why, then you get the answers easily by knowing the things slowly, slowly and gradually. Okay. So, there are total 13 concept conventions is there. Whatever account we have prepared, whatever approaching we following everything based on this 13 concept conventions so there is no rule of thumb method that uh, we will say 
I am explaining going forward that nine comes set four conventions. It's just for basic information. But yes, we may say these things concept. We may say convention. We can may say principles of accounting. We may say rules. Everything was same meaning. The main motto and main purpose was that whatever we prepare, it should be prepared uniformly across the board. Okay, there is uh, what I said gap that is general accepted accounting principle. There is some Indian gap also there and US gap there. That is not required for you, but that is each and everything. Like as Indians, we have some presumptions and US they have some different presumptions. Somehow they were not matching. But overall, it will be at least sixty percent both the concept and commission should be matched because everyone should preparing balance sheet, everyone should preparing final accounts, everyone should wants to know their profit and loss, everyone should know how to match expenses and revenue, everyone should know what the business financial positions. For these things, these concept and conventions also required. So. First thing, what I explained in previous class, what is drawing capitals, expenses, profit losses, and why I called as assets. So this whatever I explain you, from that there was a concept behind the explanation. Though I have never teach you the concept conventions, that's why I explain you in general terms, or we can say in book terms. Today is the day where you can know each and everything's regions, and you can know yes because of this rule, because of this concept, this is the treatment. As we can say this drawing, we can say this is capital, we can say this is expenses because of this concept, because of this conventions, right? So let's start with full energetic and sincerity, and you can say. Please, please, if it's my request, full of consultation in my classes because this is the most important for you, not for now, for every stage in your life. So please give more attention, consequences, and this transcends. Okay. So I already mentioned there are 13 concepts. So first you will write, then I will explain you each and every concepts, their meanings, and for this concept, what is outcome is there? What is the treatment? How come we say everything I can explain by this is based on this concepts. Okay. Before writing, what I am trying to explain you. So, once the rules made and the regulation was made, they need to be implemented. So, once they implemented, they need to check whether the implementation was successfully implemented or not. So every time they have to check every rules and regulation, like how we have for the government rules regulation, same thing for our accounting purpose, we have some rules and regulations also. Okay. For thus for that point of view, we need to know each and every concepts. Okay. Let's go these things, then I'll explain you one by one. First one will be your business entity concept. Next one will be your money measurement concept. Third one, going concern concept. Fourth one. Accounting period concept, fifth one, cost concept, fifth one will be your cost concept, sixth one, dual aspect concept, seventh, revenue recognition concept. Or we can say realization concept. Okay, I am writing in bracket. We can say this one realization. Realization concept. 
ओके देन मैचिंग कंसेप्ट फुल डिस्क्लोजर कन्वेंशन कंसिस्टेंसी कन्वेंशन अटेसिट सेवन वन रेवेन्यू रिकॉग्नेशन एट मैचिंग कंसेप्ट देन योर नाइन विल बी फुल डिस्क्लोजर कन्वेंशन टेन कंसिस्टेंसी कन्वेंशन इलेवन कंजर्वेटिजम और वी कैन से प्रूडेंस पी आर यू डी ई एन सी ई प्रूडेंस ट्वेल्व मेट्रलिटी एंड थर्टीन यो ऑब्जेक्टिविटी ओके टीम विल बी योर ऑब्जेक्टिविटी सो देर आर अराउंड थर्टीन कंसर कन्वेंशन out of this this four will be your convention so there is no confusion we can say this four as a four base six accounting convention we can say this four as a four base six accounting convention okay so That's why written as black. Whatever that four written as black color, that we call as four basic accounting conventions. Okay. So once you wrote, let starting with discussion one by one. Okay. First one will be your business entity concept. So if you remember, once I started the terminology, I said. capital drawing definition but it should be everything why the question why going to answer in this concept convention so why i said that is a capital i normally said my dear students due to this is the accounting terminology so every accounting terminology behind that terminology there is a concept There are the conventions. So, the base on this, we are treating each and every thing. Okay, first thing. First one will be your business entity concept. So, what this concept is saying? See, the owner and the business should be two different persons. What is it? The owner and the business should be two different entity. Means there is. No relation between owner and business. Owner is a different person. Business also different entities. So that so whatever the money or money is worth invested by the owner into the business, we call this capital. Right, sir. The same thing you teach us in terminology. Yes, my dear student. The term capital, how I treated as a base term. बिजनेस एंटिटी कॉन्सेप्ट सो बिजनेस एंटिटी कॉन्सेप्ट में जो रूल्स लिखे है उसी रूल की बेस में मैंने कैपिटल ट्रीटमेंट किया और ड्राइंग ट्रीटमेंट किया एक चीज आप ध्यान दें इसमें क्या है जो कि ओनर है वो और उसका बिजनेस दोनों अलग है इसलिए बिजनेस जो भी पैसा ओनर इन्वेस्टमेंट करता है उसको हम लोग बोलते हैं कैपिटल गॉट इट Yes, you understand. Next thing, once owner needs some money, he can withdraw the same from the business. The same term we call this drawings. Up to this, you clear? Yes, sir, we clear. So, from the business point of view, the owner should be a different person. He was the owner, but not the business. He is only a owner. So, whatever money he invested. We called as capital. Whatever he was withdraw from the business, we called as drawing. First thing was over. Second thing, whatever the personal expenses or personal things related to owner, we can't take an as business. Only the purpose of business and what type of business we are doing, that thing only we can consider for business point of view. We cannot take anything which is personal for the owner. Let's say owner's daughter is married, some expensive maid. He can't take the same as a business because business are different from owner. So, what are personal expenses of owner? 
not to be personal. This is the first concept, which is called business entry concept. Here we founded the region of why we are saying is capital, why are saying is growing, and why business and owner was two different persons. You understood this thing? Yes, sir. Okay. I am just explaining one by one. Then I will recall everything and I will give you a note for the same. Okay. So, let us say move forward to the second one which we can call money measurement concepts. So, why this thing was required? I explain in first class that is bartered system, then accounting come, money is money is worth for the repair. When money, money is worth there, then there should be a transaction that we call financial energy. So, whatever I explain in the all are based on money measurement concept. So, every transactions which are recording in business should not be quantitative, should not be qualitative. There should be some value for the transactions if any transaction has happened there must be some value for the transactions and that should be monetary input that's the transaction need to be recorded in the business got it i can say please uh, record 10 quantity 10 kilo of rice with no price 24 credit gold with no price then our business or our organization or whatever you can say they won't consider the same agent transactions why because there is no monetary value or money's worth involved in that transactions so we cannot record anything which have no value for this that's why everything which contains some value the same should be recorded in the books of accounts. Value means in terms of money or money's worth, or you can say financial in nature. That is called money measurement concept that should be measured in monetary terms. Understood? I am giving some overall ideas each and every concept. Then I will give you the note of everything. Okay. You just try to understand what is the concept and how it is utilized. Full easy, but most most important for you. It is easy concept, but most most important for all of you. Okay, so let's say money concept was completed. Then we will go for going concern concept. Okay, so what is going concern concept? Whenever, <coughs> whenever, <coughs> whenever a business was started, so the main assumption of a business, it should be wrong indefinite period of time. Indefinite period of time means we may assume that our business should run long, long period of time. There is no end sign for the business. This is the main assumption every businessman should take before they started their businesses okay for this only as a basin going concern concern the business will run for a indefinite period of times that means long period of time that is a base of going concern concern okay so if the business should run long period we may survive for the long term we may put some purchase some sales we made some transitions also. Yes. If you remember, I explained some definition of assets. That is fixed assets. Okay. Yes, sir. You explain us fixed assets. So, for what reason the assets? We told us that item as an assets. Because as per going concern concept, the business will run for an indefinite period of time. For that as a basis, whatever we purchased as a long term purpose and the 
whatever things which can help us to generate revenue for a long term purpose the same we call it assets because there is the value should be more than one year or the revenue we get from that assets is more than one year as a base on this going concern concept to treat that things as an assets for the businesses okay you understood then the next thing would be your accounting period concept so first thing i explain you business entity concept then i explain you money measurement concept then going concern then accounting period concept okay so what is accounting period concept most interesting story of this okay so if you know on the final account it will prepare yearly ones but you can ask sir why it is prepared yearly ones because of as a base on accounting period concept there was a assumption that the business for the preparing at least a period of one year that means we are going to prepare the final account of the business yearly once or we can say annually okay so sir why required annually first thing once the business objective was in definite period run then the business should know their profits their losses and their financial positions at the end of each year okay then you can ask sir why this thing required if this is required because like us lot of users was there for the business lot of outside sales required for the business they wanted to know what is the status of the business whether it's going well what's the credit worthiness of the business and what's the financial position of the business whether the business profitable going on or not that thing they wanted to know from our business for that reason we need to prepare our final account which gives us the profit and loss and balance sheet which can say financial positions that is main thing here one more thing i mean added the income tax officers also required this preparation of account balance also annually for that purpose also we can prepare this thing say okay? annual basics as a base to accounting period concept yes if there was more more rule there are some limitations also there what limitations many companies may follow quarterly basis data monthly basis data because as per its client demands they should or their audit agreement they should prepare their books of account monthly ones quarterly ones fortnight they should generate the profit and loss in their position monthly ones quarterly ones which can be easy for them or as per the company's requirement to know their positions but but in general sense apart from this exceptional cases we can say the business should be prepared the final account for a period of one year that is annually as a base on accounting period concepts understood yes sir we understood these things so next next will be your cost concepts okay so you must sir what is cost concepts cost concept means let's take an example what i explain everything is can be measured in money okay that is monetary but whether whatever we measure in money we record in the books of account whether all that are correct whether all that are corrected by nature let's give an example for you i am erasing up to fifth part
ओके सो इन फर्स्ट जून टू थाउजेंड वन बॉट ए फिक्स रेसिड्स इस फिफ्टी थाउजेंड बॉट ए फिक्स रेसिड्स इस फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ओके फर्स्ट जो टू थाउजेंड टेन मार्केट वैल्यू ऑफ द फिक्स रेसिड वन लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ओके और इधर मार्केट वैल्यू ऑफ द फिक्स रेसिड वन लाख Fifty thousand. So what two things here coming? When you buy the asset two thousand one, you take an as fifty thousand. In two thousand ten, you take an as one lakh fifty thousand. So can anyone can be answer what is the balance sheet figure as on two thousand ten the assets value? Please take your time and just explain me. What is the balance of figures? What is the value we can draw in the balance sheets? Ah, uh, okay. So let's explain. Sir, so, as a base and cost concept. We always, we always record the fixed asset as per the book value. So, what is the book value of this asset, sir? Book value would be this one is the book value. This one would be the marker. So, book value was fifty thousand. So, we can we can ask, sir, if the value is one lakh fifty, if you wrote fifty thousand, then there should be a concept gaping in this. Yes. This concept also some limitations because of these records. Okay, I'll explain you later part. So, it is based on this concept. The book value of the assets fifty thousand. As on two thousand ten, the book value in balance sheet you can wrote as fifty thousand only. Now, now question why? If I say it is based on this concept, that is also correct. But we need to know the reason also, because the market price of the assets may be fluctuate, may be increasing, may be decreasing. It depends upon the market. For that, we can't take a proper decision on the asset basis. If you wrote the big, sorry, if you wrote in book value, then the consistent should be same, and you should take the decisions. The market value as an as an something for comparison. But in the balance sheet, we wrote the asset figure as per the book values. Okay, this is the first reason. And sir, why we call this a cost concept? Yes, this is also main question. So let me take an one more examples. This you understood? Let me take an one more example. So. As per this concept, I'll explain one line. The expenses. Please listen carefully. The expenses which are incurred from the purchase of Fixed assets to the making of assets are 
ready for use no make me say ready for use all are need to be capitalized or are need to be capitalized okay so what is the meaning let me explain one by one what i said the expenses which are incurred from the purchase of from the debt okay my mistake from the debt purchase of fixed assets to the making of assets ready for use so whatever expenses you are incurred are need to be capitalized capitalized means a debt in the purchase value of fixed assets pb means purchase value fa means fixed assets due to let let me space i wrote a shortcut okay pb means purchase value fa means fixed assets so capitalized means added in the purchase value of the fixed assets okay sir we no, understood so sir can you give more elaborate this yes let me elaborate you again by taking a simple example so okay i can erase this thing or you want to wrote wrote it the expenses which are incurred from the debt of which are incurred from the debt of purchase of fixed assets to the debt of making the assets the expenses which are incurred from the debt of purchase of fixed assets to the debt of making the assets ready for use making the assets ready for use all are ready for use all are need to be all are need to be capitalized all are need to be capitalized that is capitalized means added in the purchase value of the fixed assets added in the purchase value of the fixed assets this is small explanation let me giving a example of this okay so okay so let's say purchase price we take 50000 okay bringing we can say cost of acquisition that is acquisition means purchase expenses we can say expenses in cost on purchase or we may say acquisition okay 10000 okay uh then one more expenses incurred for making the assets ready for use ready for use the assets ready for use you can say 10000 so here one conclusion sir as per cost concept the value or the purchase price or the cost of the fixed asset would be 70000 cost price of the fixed asset would be 70000 how is the best on cost concept sir as you explain whatever expenses incurred from the date of purchase the fixed asset till the date of make the fixed asset ready for use that cost are incurred in the fixed asset value that value should be the cost price or book value of the fixed assets you got it this point yes sir we understood these things now 
the cost concept should be based on this thing okay so first thing you know always the picture should be recorded as a book value whatever cost to incur that should be included in the fixed asset till the assets made for ready for use up to this clear is yes, sir up to this we clear so let me erase this thing then what is the next dual aspect concept all right dual aspect concepts so let me go dual aspect concept okay here the rule of what we explain in my introduction class the rule of debit and credit comes picture okay as a base on this concept so this is the main thing for you so why you call dual aspect because every transaction have been two fold aspects every transaction have been two fold aspects one is debit another one is credit sir how is a based on dual aspect concept so you can say once a transaction is happens that must be effect of two sets yes please listen carefully i am not saying there must be a debit must be credit but effect of two times means in debit side or in balance sheet side there should be two two effect or in liability side there should be two effect. must be two aspects should be there so sir you said no dual aspect one debit one yes meaning in that case once a transaction happens there must be one debit must be one credit i'm saying one debit one credit not saying one going for debit side one coming for credit no must be one debit transaction consequently one credit transaction should be there there may okay you understood this thing yes sir you understood that every transaction have been two fold aspects one is debit one is credit okay you understood yes sir we understood this thing sir sir can you explain the given examples let's say first thing rent paid i am starting with expense side rent paid rent paid means what happened we made an expenses right yes sir how will pay sir we paid from cash so we paid cash right then our expenses account should be debited expense account should be debited then we should credit at the cash account right that is 10000 10000 you understood yes sir you know that means see that account expenses was which part sir this is profit and loss account right yes sir this part going to sir this part going to current assets in the balance sheets where it is going current assets in the balance sheets so whatever transaction you are making there must be both side effects in the transaction one side is debit there must be same figure should be on credit side or should be you have to make a credit transaction or credit for the same understood yes sir now we understand let take him one more example let's say purchase a machinery okay purchased a machinery on credit so there is no cash on is there yes sir then what is the treatment same thing we purchased a machinery on credit credit means if anything credit comes there was a bar for pay creditor we can say creditor credit means we can say creditor that mean if you go in our balance sheet this is our balance sheet if you go in our balance sheet okay if you go in our balance sheet this is our asset side this is our 
library side so let's say 5000 how much 5000 okay so the journal entry will be i'm written some space here i've written okay journal entry will be machinery to creditor so here there is no case no pl transaction that means is at the time of purchasing a machinery one debit item will coming what is that sir machinery item comes under asset side as you will know all assets are debit so machinery then one more thing what coming sir once you purchase on credit that should be a part of a creditor so one more person is called as creditor okay so let's see library side one one aspect happens and assets of so two impact in previous transfer two impact one is in profit and loss of account one is balance asset tax you understood these things yes sir you understood these things also. let given one more example for dual aspect concepts same example instead of credit we take in as case instead of credit we take an as case let's say purchase of furniture rupees 10,000 so you purchase a machinery 10,000 journal entry should be purchase account debit to sorry furniture account debit sorry 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 sorry, sorry. buying asset furniture account debit to case account it should be 10,000 and 10,000 okay so this is the journal entry once you buying machinery the machinery account should come on debit side so let's say sir how it will dual impact let's take same t form okay so how it will come we buy it furniture, right? It coming under asset sites. This is our asset site. This is our liability site. Okay. I said two impact, two set. Either both said asset, both said liability, or asset and liability, or profit and loss asset, profit and loss account liability. Must be two impact. Let's say asset. So there should be a adding of assets. How much? Ten thousand and whatever our case balance there in current asset that we can say the liquid asset let's sub from example in balance sheet there was a case was standing 30,000 from there we need to reduce 10,000 as a purchase of furniture the balance should be 20,000 got it some other assets also there you got understood yes sir 10,000 furniture coming and from case balances there is the reduction of 10,000 of case that's the that's the rule of debit or means a dual aspects concept so overall if you take as a base on this concept there was a accounting equation was generated how account equation was coming let's say assets equal to see accounting what accounting person said assets equal to liability plus capital assets equal to liability plus capital see why liability why to play both different thing this thing was coming from first thing business entity concept right is owner was different from business okay that's why the capital concept is there is that's why we are saying asset equal to liability plus capital because of dual aspect concept the account equation should be these things 
if you deduct from total assets total liability the remaining part should be capital this capital part we can say is owners equity what we can say owners equity this is your dual aspect concepts so i hope you all are understood these things how cost is coming why we are saying is capital drawing why we are saying assets what is the reason of saying assets why we are taking all as all cost which are include for the purchase of assets from the ready to use the assets capitalized why this comes you understood so today we cover around six concepts right what are those so we cover business entity we cover money management we cover accounting period we cover cost concept we cover dual aspects one more what we can cover okay first thing we cover business entity we cover money management we cover cost we cover dual aspects okay accounting period also we cover that is i explain what is one year right explain sir na yes sir accounting period also we cover so this around six concepts we covered clearly so what to whatever i explain you i am giving a note for the same okay whatever i explain you i will give you a note for the same so I, I explain the meaning of business entity, the meaning of money measurement, meaning of cost, meaning of accounting period, meaning of dual aspects concepts, the meaning of going concern concepts. Okay, this thing I explain properly, and I hope you understood these things. Don't worry, you just understood the things. I'll give you a note for the same in the coming classes. You may wrote or you may take a pen for the same. Okay. So this is today's class. What what we cover in next class? I will explain you the revenue recurring concept. I will explain you the matching concepts. I will explain you the full disclosure. Then we may go the convention four convention that is full disclosure, consistency, conservatism, materiality, and objectivity. We will cover in the next class. So. you have got some idea regarding the reason behind why we treated capital why we treated drawing why we make the rule of debit credit why the equation was generated as equal liability plus capital correct why the final account also prepared at yearly once or at the end of the period this all wise reason i hope you all got the answer still you have any doubt or you can ask us this is the example treatment of different why you can ask me directly okay apart from these things please have a overlook in your books whatever concept is there in that books also you have any doubt you can ask me till i am providing the materials or explanation is in everything okay till then okay sir thank you bye bye